Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing my, what? No, that's not what I'm doing. I was gonna say my March favorites. That's not what I'm doing. I'm going to be doing my current favorites today just because these have been things that I've been liking over the past few months. I haven't done a favorites video in like a really long time. I'm pretty sure since before I announced that I was pregnant. <laughs> So I want to slowly, hopefully get back into doing favorites and once Luna's born I want to add in some mommy baby favorites and stuff like that. That should be fun. I do have some baby buys, so just a couple things that I have picked up over the last few months that I just wanted to mention to you guys. So without further ado, let's just get into it. So I'm going to go ahead and start out with makeup and if you guys want to see a tutorial on this makeup look let me know down below i actually just did it today just to kind of practice and i am so happy with how it turned out so the first makeup product that i have is actually something that i've been liking for a really long time i've kind of just been using all of the makeup that i have and if you guys want to see a makeup collection i don't have like a crazy makeup collection but if you guys want to see it let me know down below. I can definitely do that. I don't even know if people watch those videos anymore. These are the Jordana mascaras. I have the Jordana Best Length Extreme Lengthening Mascara and the Best Lash Extreme Volumizing Mascara. So this was my favorite mascara combination for the longest time. I like using the lengthening one first just to kind of um, separate my lashes and add a little bit of length to them. It really is amazing. I think I used to compare this to the Benefit Their Real mascara. I definitely still think that it's very similar, um, especially when it comes to the brushes. I am allergic to the Benefits Their Real. It gives me like styes in my eyes. That's really gross. <laughs> um, so I don't use that one, but this one is really similar and it's really cheap at the drugstore. And then for the Best Slash Extreme Mascara, I just put that over top of it. Um, and this is very volumizing. I think I would compare this a lot to the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I actually have that one and I don't really like it. Um, I feel like the brush is way too big and too fluffy for my eyelashes. So this one's a little bit more lengthening and separating and I can actually use this on my lower lash line, which I can't use that other one for. Something that is related to the brow area is the Sally Hansen Wax Strips. I have been doing my own eyebrows, again, trying to save money, and I've been using those to to wax my own eyebrows and it has honestly been amazing it doesn't hurt at all in my opinion and I pretty much just do the ends part the end part of my brows and just kind of clean it up um, I try to do it like every like once a month or so just to kind of maintain everything and then I'll tweeze any other hairs that are kind of flailing around for no apparent reason <laughs> the next thing that I have is actually something that I'm wearing right now and it is the lashes that I have been wearing and this is from the brand Christina and these are the Demi Wispy eyelashes I was using the Ardell Demi Wispies for a long time, but I saw these on Amazon. Amazon Prime is absolute death. They are different from the Ardell Demi Wispies. I feel like they're a little bit more, they go in like different directions and they're not as thick, I think, as the Ardell Demi Wispies, which I kind of like. So I'll wear them on days where I don't necessarily want to wear a ton of makeup. I wore it in a pregnancy update, wore them with like a thin line of eyeliner and then just put the lashes on top because I didn't feel like putting on mascara. Um, so that's a good way to wear them. Or if you want to do like a look that's a little bit more fancy, then you can totally do that. And just, I just add some mascara to bump them up a little bit, but I really like these lashes. Um, I definitely want to try different styles of them. So I'm not sure if I can actually add this to my favorites. I'm going to anyway, but um, because I actually got it over the weekend, so like a couple days ago, I spent a gift card at Target and decided to treat myself to a little bit of makeup because I have been just like the end part of my pregnancy. I've just been really lazy and tired and just not feeling 100%. I decided to try out this e.l.f. palette and this is the blush palette. This is in the dark. Four blush shades in here so we have a nice 
coral shade right here, which I am wearing on my cheeks today. I don't even know if you can see it. And then it has this kind of, it's a little bit of a darker coral shade, and it reminds me a lot of like Nor, Nor, Nors. It reminds me a lot of like a Nars orgasm type of color, so it does have like that gold shimmer going through it, but it's not like as intense as Nars orgasm. And then we have a nice like, uh, I would say this is like a cooler toned pink. And then this one is kind of a brownish, uh, brownish blush color. <laughs> like, look at that. That's ridiculous. Okay, so my last kind of makeup product is a makeup removing product. And I talked about this in my skincare routine, but this is the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. I was previously using the Simple Cleansing Water, but I decided to try this one just because I ran out of that one. I love this so much more than the Simple one. I felt like the Simple one left a little bit of like a film on my face. I still do use makeup remover wipes, um, either like before or after. I use this on like, multiple cotton pads to use this as kind of a cleanser if I don't want to cleanse my skin um, which probably isn't like the best idea in the world but as of right now it's been working for me for that obviously I am pregnant and my stomach is stretching a lot and I have been dealing with really itchy just stretched out painful at times skin there was a time where my skin was so stretched out and I was actually like it was the beginning of me getting my stretch marks literally I could feel my skin tearing <laughs> which sounds so brutal I was looking up things that would kind of soothe it and calm the skin down because I felt like it was just going crazy it hurt to the touch I had to actually put band-aids on it because like even the air touching it was hurting like I was still applying like moisturizers and coconut oil and stuff like that but it just wasn't helping that like burning sensation I decided to go ahead and try using some aloe vera oh and it doesn't have any alcohol in it so I was going to use these to make patsicles for my postpartum situation and I just decided to go ahead and try it on my belly to see what would happen this is the type of product that kind of leaves like a layer over your belly so I felt like it kind of made like a protective layer so then my skin could kind of heal a little bit at one point I did try mixing it in with a moisturizer or putting a moisturizer over top of it Mm, I wouldn't suggest doing that just because it made it like really sticky and I would just use it like after my shower or like before I went to bed So I wouldn't touch it another skincare product that again I've been using for my belly is the Vaseline intensive care Deep moisture jelly cream and this is supposed to heal severely dry skin So when I was working at the daycare, we had to wash our hands a lot and um, my hands would get extremely dry and also because it was getting to be winter time and stuff my hands just really get dry and just crazy very easily so they get all cracked and they'll start bleeding and stuff like that it's just really brutal but this winter was the first winter where my hands didn't do that it was like it was a miracle so um, I definitely owe it all to this um, so since I had tried it on my hands and it worked out so well I decided to try it on my belly and Chris actually gave this to me for Christmas it is so thick and moisturizing and it's not one of those lotions that will like soak up in your skin really quickly but I like that about it and it was honestly just the most soothing thing to apply to my belly. And also, my boobs were really dry at one point, so that was literally the only thing that would keep them from being dry. Okay, and my last kind of body favorites are these two scents that I have from Bath & Body Works. I also have the lotions that go along with them. So the first one that I have is A Thousand Wishes, and then I have the Wild Honeysuckle, which I actually got this one because I heard that it was similar to the Marc Jacobs honey perfume and perfumes are very expensive but Chris had actually gotten that for me our first Christmas when we were dating <laughs> and I love that perfume I was like literally saving every drop of it I heard that this one was similar and honestly it does smell really similar to the Marc Jacobs honey I think it's a little less honey than the Marc Jacobs one. I guess this is kind of like in the same, in the body 
category. So I have this razor right here and it's like a double-sided razor. I actually haven't used the actual razor part. Now you're probably wondering, Allie, how do you shave when you're pregnant? Uh, trust me, it's it's very, very difficult. I actually shaved today and it was very complicated. But you might be wondering specifically, or you might not be wondering, I don't blame you if you're not, how do you groom, you know, that area that um, needs to be groomed? You know, sometimes I just let it go wild and free and I don't really care to be perfectly honest. But <laughs> It's like a trimmer, it's like a bikini trimmer. Okay, there's like a guard on it and the blade doesn't come out enough in order to get like low enough down or like close enough to your skin, if that makes any sense. But it does take a ton of hair off and it's honestly, it's amazing. And I've just been using this. I don't really worry about it cutting me or anything like that. So I can do it without being able to see what I'm actually doing, which I kind of have to do because I can't see my vagina anymore. And then I have two hair products. The first one is something that I was using for before I had box braids in on just like my natural hair. I was using the Cantu Leave-In Conditioning Repair Cream. This one is a Shea Butter one, but I started out using the Argan Oil one. I think I like this one better, but I was just using this as my leave-in moisturizer whenever I co-wash my hair, whenever I do regular washings to my hair. I do find that if you just want to apply it to dry hair or like you weave, you weave white, 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 white. <laughs> if you re-moisten your hair and then you reapply it, I do find that it does like give you some flakes, um, which isn't the cutest thing in the world. So I did find that I'd have to like actually co-wash my hair or wash my hair and then apply this again. Just like get rid of that layer, I guess. I guess it kind of like would add some buildup and stuff. This is the Tresme Expert Selection. This is a conditioner with coconut milk and aloe vera. And this has no dye no parabens and it's silicone free so I really wanted to try this out I think I had heard someone else talking about it I was using the Aussie just regular conditioner and then I would use the three minute miracle as my co-washing product as well but this stuff is amazing man like this was super duper moisturizing and I really enjoyed using it on my hair like it was a joy to use this product I guess I'll go into TV shows so we've been kind of all over the place when it comes to TV shows I don't know I'm just in this weird place where I don't want to commit to a TV show and like binge watch it we were watching The Walking Dead for a while and then it got to the season and sorry if you haven't seen it yet I forget if it's I think it's the fourth season but um, there's like a virus going through their group and I can't I just I can't do it. <laughs> I can't deal with that. Um, so I've kind of like watched, been watching like an episode a month. He's seen a lot of them, so it's kind of driving me crazy that he can't like catch up to where like they are now. I've been watching a lot of like old cartoons, like 90s shows that I used to watch when I was younger and just kind of like reminiscing. But I was watching As Told by Ginger and if you guys have seen that show, comment down below because I used to love that show. And it's funny how when you watch something when you're older, like things are just completely different and you understand things so much more. This Worst Cooks in America. For a while we were watching Chopped and I think we watched like all of those. And then we were watching Iron Chef America, um, which we still kind of are getting through those. That show is so good. Like I feel like a lot of it is probably staged, but I just really enjoy it. I love cooking shows and I love cooking while I'm watching cooking shows and watching cooking shows makes me want to cook. So that's always a good thing. And then the last show that we were watching, Dana, who is the book hoarder here on YouTube, told me about an anime called Erased that she had been watching and she said that it was really good so we decided to watch the first episode and if you've ever watched Crunchyroll like the free version of Crunchyroll oh my gosh there's so many commercials like it's the worst thing ever the first episode just blew my mind to pieces because it was it was is so good it was like that perfect combination of just like the animation was amazing the story just like just hooked you in and just 
made you want to watch every single episode. So from there, we got the free trial of Crunchyroll again, and we watched all the episodes that were up. But that anime is so good. Just watch the first episode and you won't be able to not watch it anymore. It's funny, it has comedy in it like a little bit, but then it has a lot of drama, but it's not like super like bloody and gory. Luna's like, mom, stop, stop talking. You're talking way too much. The last things I want to talk about are two things as far as music. So I have been listening to a lot of different things when it comes to like genres and stuff. I don't know what happened. It's like something just like clicked in my brain and I was like, I, I really like this. <laughs> so I have been in love with jazz music. I actually have a playlist that I will try to put down below of a lot of jazz music that I really like and honestly it just makes me so happy. One of the reasons why I like it is because my dad listened to it so much when I was younger um, so it's kind of I know what that sound is and it kind of gives me good feelings inside when I listen to it. And then recently I have been listening to Kanye West's Yeezus album. I did try to listen to his newest album, The Life of Pablo. Um, I'm not too crazy about that. The reason why I started listening to Yeezus is because I heard one of his songs in the TV show The Underground, which that show is seriously freaking amazing. Black Skinhead in one of the episodes. Oh my gosh, that song just gives me so much life. And so I started listening to his album, like honestly, probably like five days ago and I've pretty much only been listening to that. It just, it just makes me feel things that I've never felt before <laughs> and I thoroughly enjoy it. So I'm gonna quickly show you guys some baby buys. If you guys have stuck around for this long, good on you because I would probably, I'm sorry if you hear like a farting noise throughout this entire video. I keep, I'm sitting on a yoga ball and I keep like scraping it against my stool that's in front of me. So one of the things I love Once Upon a Child, if you don't know what Once Upon a Child is, it's basically like Plato's Closet, um, but for babies. And if you don't know what Plato's Closet is, it's kind of like Goodwill slash like a thrift store for like more current clothes, I guess you could say. Um, so they have a ton of Carter stuff at Once Upon a Child. They have a ton of like vintage clothing items and stuff like that, which I am. I am in love with. I did get these at Once Upon a Child. Can we, can we even deal with the cuteness that this is? I have a pair of jelly sandals, um, so I thought it would be like the most adorable thing if I could find jelly sandals for her so we could like be matching and be twinsies. Um, and also these will just match with anything I put her in. So I just figured it would be awesome. I was looking for them online and stuff and I couldn't find any anywhere. So when I saw these at Once Upon a Child, I was like, this is, this is perfect. I'm so excited to put these on her. They're so cute. I saw these at Target over the weekend and they were the best thing that I had ever seen in my entire life. And they were only $5. Like I can't even fathom. The first one that I got is this, how to Train Your Dragon Night Fury onesie, and I'm pretty sure this is probably meant for boys, but I don't care. <laughs> I don't care at all. She can wear this. This is for zero to three months. This is so cute. And then I got this onesie, which is three to six months, and it has a penguin. This penguin's name is but it's one of the penguins from Penguins of Madagascar, I believe. Other than my yoga ball, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of it down below, and if you guys would like to continue seeing the favorites videos whenever I have any favorites. Um, also let me know, and I will see you guys in my next video. I love you.